Welcome to my channel. It's good to see you again. My name is Dina Collada and I'm a copywriter, entrepreneur, and marketing strategist. And I love to help businesses monetize their assets they have and get more business and create new income revenue streams. So today I'm going to show you how to start an e-commerce store using Shopify. And right now they have a trial for a dollar one month for the first three months on select plans. But the first thing I want to do is go here and check out the pricing. And I love Shopify because it's really user friendly. It's super simple to create your own website. And a tip that I have for you today is to buy your domain name through Shopify. So you don't have to worry about pointing it through GoDaddy or SiteGround or some other web hosting domain platform. So let's scope this out a little bit. There are three different plans. There's a monthly and a yearly. Of course, you're going to save more money if you buy the year plan. But if you're just getting started and you want to make sure it's a viable business stream of income rolling in, you might want to start with the monthly. But that's going to bump up your price a little bit more. So you can get this basic here right now in January, three months for $1 a month. So you can make sure it's a viable income stream. You've got your marketing dialed in before you actually have to pay any money to Shopify for your shop for very low money. So the basic one for a month is 39 bucks, but the first three months are a dollar each. It's 2.9% plus 30% plus per transaction. Um, Let's see, and there's also a 2.7% plus 0% transaction if you're selling to someone in person. But I'm only going to do online. I'm going to create a print-on-demand shop for my new software as a service, a SaaS program. It's called Corkabee, and that's going to be the, fir the world's first recipe and wine pairing generator in the world. And I'm really excited to launch this um, in the upcoming weeks. And I will be sharing more about that with you on my channel here. And I've created my product through a new company called SaaS Factory. And it uses some new software that's called SaaS Maker. And it helps people who didn't have access to venture capital to have hundreds of thousands of dollars to hire developers to create their software product. And now they are almost ready to launch it nationwide so people can create their own software without spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, to create a product with developers. So I'm so grateful to be part of this program. And I'm going to use Shopify so I can sell products along with my service of creating recipes and wine pairings for people in my wine and food community at Corkaby. So I have to have a different domain name for this because it will be basically be two separate websites, but I will have the same people um, on both platforms. So my main platform is called corkaby.com. That's the software website. And I'm gonna call this Corkaby Shop. So that's where people can buy food and wine related products like t-shirts or mouse pads or pillows or whatever else I decide to sell in here. It will probably mostly be t-shirts because who doesn't love a good t-shirt? So anyway, it's got all kinds of features, online store, you can, you can promote your products from multiple sales channels, it has a POS system that will keep inventory tracking, stack management if you do have staff, 27 24 seven support. That is critical because if something happens, I want to be able to contact Shopify and say, Hey, I'm having a problem here. Can you please help me? So you can do the starter, uh, the Shopify plus as if you're doing two grand a month or more, and then you can pick out different things too. And there are add ons you can get for Shopify to streamline the process through, um, email. And I'm not going to go into that right now. So I'm going to start my free trial. There's a free trial or you can get the first three months for $1 a month. So I'm going to do that. And then after I get some money coming in from this, I'm going to sign up for the yearly program because I'll save a few bucks that way. And my Wi-Fi is being a little slow right now. I don't know what's happening. 
It's either my Wi-Fi or Shopify is having trouble loading. So I'm going to pause this until it lets me sign up. All right, I'm back. I was trying to load the setting up my Shopify store in Firefox, but it wasn't working for some reason. So a tip, if you can't get a website to load, you might switch browsers. So I went back to Safari. So I'm going to try that out and it popped the screen up. So there might be a Firefox issue or a Chrome issue or something like that. All right, so they're going to help me get started here. So which one describes me? I'm going to click, I'm just starting. So they're going to walk us through the very basic, basic processes. Where would you like to sell? Pick as many as you like and you can change them later. So I definitely want to sell on social media. Pinterest is a really easy one. Um, I want to sell in person, potentially, maybe at a show and a live event, a website or blog. Uh, sure, I'm going to go ahead and maybe just click all of these. Maybe I can sell it on Amazon or on Google at some point. If you don't know where you're going to sell it, you can pick one or you can pick, I'm not sure. But you want to think about your business plan before you get started. My main thing is to start an online store. But of course, if I can sell through Instagram or TikTok or Pinterest or Facebook, I want to do that too. So I'm going to click next. And I am going to say I want to sell on all of these. And you can pick whatever channels, like if you already have a Pinterest, you might want to just choose Pinterest. So we're going to click next. And I'm going to go ahead and click Etsy, Google, Amazon, and eBay. What the heck? Might as well have all my options open. Do you want to sell products through drop shipping? Yes, I do. I love drop shipping because it's a great business model because you don't have to produce any products yourself or have inventory in your place. So I'm going to have print on demand, which is drop shipping with a print on demand service. So I'm going to use a print company that has the t-shirts in their warehouse and I don't have to pay for these t-shirts until somebody makes a purchase, which is awesome. You don't have to put a lot of money out front. So I want to do, yes, I want to do drop shipping because I don't want to do screen printing of t-shirts myself because that is too much work and it's too hard for me to scale. So we're going to click next. Do I have an online audience or following? YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. I don't have huge followings for this new business. I pretty much have no followings for this new business. So we'll see how that goes. Now I want to show you something that happens here. Let's see, Corkaby. I can use corkaby.myshopify.com, but I want to have my own domain name because it's easier to remember. Remembering corkaby.myshopify.com, it's just too many words and it's hard for people to remember. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click Corkaby Shop because I know Corkaby.com is taken because I already own that. So for now, it says you can use this as a temporary URL to set up your store. And then after that, you can choose your custom domain later. And if you don't know what name to pick, you want to pick something that's short, that's memorable, easy to spell. Mine's a little confusing because it's a new word. It's a made up word. So you want to think about your name. And Shopify has a name generator you can use also. If your name is already taken, you can go on the Shopify's name generator and it'll give you ideas of different names that you can choose. It'll give you prefixes, suffixes, words you can add on to the name that's already taken. Because you don't want to buy a name that's taken. It could get trademarked by somebody else or if somebody owns your .com already, they might be willing to sell it to you for a premium price. So if you can find a name that's already available for the $10 a month, $12 a month, or something like that, snag it up while you can. And another really crucial tip that I that matters to me is to try to get the same domain name that matches all of your social media handles. 
because I've got social media handles all over the place and it makes me go crazy. So as soon as I bought Corkaby.com, I bought, I got my Pinterest, I got Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, everything. So I have all of those names locked in and nobody can take those from me. Okay, enough of my RAM, I'm gonna click next. Where's my business located? You can choose whatever country you're in as long as it's listed in that drop down menu. I'm in the US, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna do um, create my Shopify ID, and I am going to use my Corkaby email here. Ooh. I'm going to use Dina at Corkaby.com because I want, um, I like to have my name and a lot of my emails because it makes it more personable. It's like support or help. Of course you might want to have that, but I like to have a name because I'm a real person behind the scenes working on this website. I'm not just some robot doing it. Okay. So then you're going to want to pick a password that's easy to remember, or you have a password manager and you can write it down. Okay. Let's see. All right, so that one's pretty good. It's very long. Hopefully I can remember that. If not, I can reset my password. No big deal. I want to save it in my keychain so I don't have to type it in or look it up every time I log in. And look here, Shopify is now building my store. How exciting is this? And it's only gonna cost me a dollar a month to get it started for the first three months. You can't beat it. Um, as I'm building the store, I'm not an affiliate for Shopify right now. Uh, my account didn't get approved, but maybe in the future I will be a Shopify affiliate. So if you do see an affiliate link and you use that, that would be great. But either way, I'll have a link in the description below, even though I'm not an affiliate for them while I'm shooting this video. Okay, let's check it out. Build your dream business at your own pace. Pick a plan. I'm gonna go ahead and say pick a plan. I'm gonna choose this $1 a month, which I really love. I love to save money. They're not gonna charge me until February 8th. Awesome. And I'm gonna start with the monthly and hopefully I'll get some money rolling in before February 8th and then I'll do it to the yearly plan. I'm hoping I can pay for that yearly plan within the first week. We'll see if that happens. Confirm my billing address. So you can go ahead and type in all your stuff here. And just add all of your info in there. I know my videos are kind of long, but sometimes when I try to watch other people's videos, they go so fast, I can't keep up with them. And I'm a fast typer, so I'm not gonna go too crazy in this one. Um, it says this store is a registered business. So if you do have a an online e-commerce commerce store, you're probably gonna wanna get a business license through your state. You could go under the radar and you might not get in trouble for a while, but the IRS could eventually find out you're making money if you're not paying your taxes. So stay above the board, pay your taxes, get your business license, you know, just follow the rules. It'll save you grief down the road. And I'm going to go ahead and use PayPal to pay for this. You can log in with your credit card there if you want. I like using PayPal because I don't have to type stuff in saves me a minute or two. All right, we've got that. We're gonna click agree. And PayPal is successfully connected. I'm gonna click start plan and see what that says. I might not have needed to, no, I don't need to do that yet. All right, so we've got the basic plan. I'm gonna go to my home page here. This is the setup guide. It's pretty easy. They have all the instructions here. So there are seven tasks and I'm going to go through each of them one by one. Find products, drop shipping products to sell. That's what I'm going to do. 
browse drop shipping apps. So I've gotten some picked out, but we're going to go ahead and check them out. Depends what you want to sell. Um, let's see. A few I know about. Sprocket sells all kinds of stuff. They sell jewelry, clothes, fishing rods. They have all kinds of stuff. You can do Ollie orders, Dadao products and reviews. And the two that I know off the top of my head to do t-shirts are Printful and Printify. So let's go ahead and check out Printful or Printify and see which ones we like. Printify has free sign up, easy to use, quick setup. It's free, um, everything you need to run an e-commerce store. So if you're on a budget, this is probably gonna be a great thing for you. If you get the $9 a month plan, you can have the custom mock-ups that'll have like a person with a t-shirt or it'll be the t-shirt with your graphic on it. Background removal tool. If you have the pro plan of Canva, you can also use that. And that might be another step that you have to add in there. So I'm not gonna add it yet. I wanna check out, um, let's see. That was print full, I believe. So now let's look at Printify and let's check out their pricing. Free to install, you can have up to five stores, mock-up generator, unlimited number of product designs, or you can get this premium one for 29 a month. So if you're on a budget, all you need is the, um, the free one. So you can do Printify or you can do Printful if you wanna make t-shirts. So let's see, I've used both of them before and I can't remember which one I like better. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and go with Printful because it has more reviews and it also has a 4.6 star rating and Printify has 4.4 star rating with 1885 reviews. So let's go ahead and use Printful. So we're going to click add app and that should add it straight into the Shopify account. So here we can do install app. It needs to access the store information on Shopify. So I'm going to go ahead and click install app and then it should load it straight into the Shopify. All right. Looks like we have it right here. Um, all right, so I'm going to stop this video and that was just the basics of how to get set up on your Shopify store. And I will do uh, videos in the future on how to actually create your store using Printful. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If it's been helpful, please like it, hit that subscribe button, ask questions, add comments down below and please subscribe to my channel because it really helps me keep inspired to keep creating great content that's for you and that doesn't cost you a dime. So I'll see you in the next video and check out somewhere around this screen. There's, there will be another video you can watch that will help you grow your business.